Okay, these guys are not fun because they're prisoners. Do you remember the prisoners that were playing? Did, did, no. did I show you that? Why are they wearing sexy fucking oh, bondage uniforms? Oh, not these uniforms? guys. Not these guys. Not the monks. The guys in the hey, background. Hey, maybe, maybe sexy wasn't guys. the right word, but those are definitely bondage uniforms. Just tell me you, uh, you die. Yes. Good. Okay. I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about those guys. Those ones? Yeah. The guys. Oh, the, those guys. Which guys with the giant Wolverine claws? They don't look like prisoners. They look like they want to kill you just as much as everyone else. Oh, they want to. They really want to. In fact, you know, horrendous. when I when I die, I want to be holding like a box of like one thousand and something dollars in like gold coins in like my back pocket, and I want it to be way larger than what should be able to fit in my back pocket. That's pretty large. The question is... Oh, man. Oh, he's probably... Oh! He turned! That dick! He, he mastered Yomi, the art of reading the mind of the opponent. And then I totally missed out on him again, and then I got him. Oh god, another one, another one. These guys. I'll tell you something about these guys. Hey, tell me something about these guys. They will, they will come right at you and then kill you. Ooh, they're we're one of those. That. They're one of those enemies in video games. The yeah, kind that, guess the kind what that, I can do. the kind that attack and the kind that murder. Oh God! Please, Mace to please. the face guy. Where did you come from? I came from the ether to shove a mace in your face. Actually, I do believe that is a flail. Yeah, you're probably right. And then... Uh, these guys. Let me tell you about these guys. First, they keep not breathing at me. Then, they keep thinking at me. What's up with this bell? Um... So, these guys have really sensitive hearing. Why would you then put them in a room with a bell? Because... You're supposed to use the bell to trick them. You're right, it doesn't make any sense, but for gameplay-wise, it's supposed to be a distraction, so you can them, right? Well, then... It, 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 is it, like, their weakness? Something like that. I can't. I can't. I'm just... just Cuckoo doo Cuckoo doo Cuckoo doo do ka do Cuckoo-ka-choo. I just... I just love everything now. Everything. <laughs> Man, Every... you should play this game! You're gonna play this game, and you ain't ever gonna come down, brother. Never, Every... ever. Everything is beautiful, man. I just... Wow. I... I just need... I just need more of everything in the world. Take care of this guy. God, he's paranoid. He's bazzing out. He is. He's having a fun time in. He's not dead. You're not dead. Nailed it. Me not dying is a good thing. Him dying is a beautiful thing, and I did not get hit, and. He's freaking me out, and that was too close. Stranger danger, get the hell away from me. I'm not gonna lie, if I could have massive fucking blades strapped to my arm as a weapon... You would be like I that would... one pirate from One Piece. I know who you're talking about, and I hope not. That's not what I would want to go for. I always liked him for whatever reason. I'd want this guy. I want. I'd want the blades that this thing has, because these blades are sick. They retract. And did I kill him? Yeah, I did kill him. I won. He lost. Why did the door open? Um. This is not the Legend of Zelda. That door does not should not open. Actually, you do bring a good point. Think Resident Evil is the horse mob version of the Legend of Zelda, except with guns. 
in Legend of Zelda, doors open when you kill monsters because all the rooms are tests to make sure if you're worthy of getting whatever's at the end of the dungeon. But what uh, all the dungeon, them? All the dungeons are tests. Well, isn't this all just a test? No, this is people blatantly trying to kill you so you don't foil their plans. That is a good point. They are trying to kill me. They're trying to now, kill me these really aren't, hard. These aren't tests. These are these are people trying to murder the shit out of your face hole. Ashley. Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy. Don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? <laughs> the satisfying sound of one's impalement. Don't fall for this old trick. Ah! How dare you! No more games! Kill him! Kill! Quickly! We shall prepare for the ritual! Leon, you're alive. Maybe you have nine lives, but it doesn't matter now, Mr. Kennedy. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Hm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! Yep. We just screwed us over. Okay. Because now we have to fight a boss. Well, why not? Okay? I mean... If the characters don't want to do anything that makes sense... And they don't. Then they don't have to, you know? I mean, if... Uh, it just I'm comes not gonna to lie, it. I'm not gonna lie, this boss is kind of a dick. You're a dick! Welcome! Stop going hiking all the time! Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Are you okay? <laughs> what are you buying? I don't get from talking to... Dragon Quest we, Mojo 2. We, we're probably where, where we are now because this is where we were supposed to be from the beginning. I started talking about Dragon Quest Mojo 2 because I, I thought for sure that we weren't... Oh, Owl Flame. You just... Oh, no. What is that? A shotgun. Like, that is like a Tommy Uzi uh, sniper. Oh, Owl Flame. This, this is what we need. If we don't need, um... Where is it? Audience, before we begin to deliver, what do you need? We don't ah, need this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Thank going to sell that. Buying. I'm going to sell that for for our freaking new striker. Is that old stranger? So wait, wait, what is this gun? Hold on, let's take a look at the design of this gun for a moment, shall we? Okay, so it has the Tommy gun weapons barrel. I mean, ammo barrel. Yeah. It has... The Uzi style of sh of short size <laughs> horizontally. It, it it has the Tommy handle. It's it's basically like what would happen if you merged a rifle, a Tommy gun, and an Uzi together to make one very <laughs> impressive gun thing. Let's go with that. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? I, I can't that all? <laughs> even begin to fathom how this gun's design came around. But it did, nevertheless, like come around. If there's anyone in the comments, anyone at all, please tell me if you Thank know you. if this is a real is gun or something. Also, you can DM Alflame in the link below. Ooh. You're actually going to put a link below this time. Yeah, I what are you buying? was I supposed to earlier because I completely forgot if I was. What are you buying? Let's see. Is there... Nope. Yeah, but I, I didn't really care. You, you don't have to put a link. They'll just... If they really care about who I am, they can ask, what Who was that? Telling? And then you can say, Oh, that devilishly handsome man? The vest was out of flame. And then they'll be like, I don't know how handsome he is. I didn't see him. 
Well, now you, just you should you should look up his uh, Bonnie Must Die LP. It's a, it's pretty good. I like what he's doing with the edits. Yeah, I'm gonna try and finish that this week. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. Cause now now I'm on vacation, so I have time. Oh sweet. Oh, before I forget, I need to save. <laughs> no, you don't. I need to save. I I like the idea that the shopkeeper set up this this typewriter specifically for you. That the question is, how did he get here? Like, I understand, for gameplay purposes, totally, it makes sense, you want to buy stuff before you go to the boss, and I get it. It's not supposed to make sense, but, why is he here? Is this like a secret hidey hole where he, like, stores his merchandise? Is this where he scavengers for god knows whatever, because you can clearly see there's bodies, maybe he's, like, looting the dead or something? I don't think he needs to loot the dead. Don't forget, he has a treasure map. He knows what money is and how to get it at any cost. Very true. Not to mention, he has people like you going on their own mission, also willing to sell him stuff, which he has the money to pay for at any given time. Very he true. Is not, he is not in need of anything. Facts. I'm gonna bust this out. Oh, I like I, I am not even kidding. As a shopkeeper, he is not in need of anything. He's really not in need of anything. He's, he's just incredible. He's just he's just here to be your friend. From what oh, I've seen. Oh man. Oh, it was one of those camera shots. Oh man, you know what's coming up, right? Is Probably it not, and... but you get the idea. I do. I don't in horror games I hate those kind of camera shots where we get something from the perspective of the monster. Those camera shots work on in in two for two reasons.